All right, guys, Zenfone Pro M1, another new ROM and another install and preview video. I'm pretty sure you will like it. In today's video, we are going to look at Nitrogen OS, which is based on Android 9 Pi. Now, yes, this is one of the most mainstream ROMs. Nitrogen OS is ported to a lot of devices, but I'm going to look at it for the first time based on Android 9 Pi. So before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get flashing. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to install Nitrogen OS on the Zenfone Pro M1. Now yes, this is a new ROM for this particular device based on Android Pie. We will look at the features, the bugs and this is going to be a quick overview of this ROM and yes, we will go to TWRP to install it. So right now we are on the home screen for MSM Extended and uh, that was the previous video. So if you've not watched it, well you can definitely go ahead and watch it. So for now, what are we going to do is before we begin, well, there are a lot of things that we need to take care of. You need to have at least 50% battery. Make sure all your data is backed up. You've copied the ROM and Google apps to your phone's external memory because we believe in wiping everything, including internal storage to give us a seamless experience with custom ROMs. So while you've done that, also ensure you have TWRP installed, the regular TWRP 3.2.3 or TWRP Dragon or Dragon TWRP or Red Dragon TWRP, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, so one of those TWRPs are needed and everything should be set. Once you're set, you just need to follow the video and before you install it, watch this video because I'm going to give you a quick review and you will decide whether you want to install it or not. So first things first, press and hold the power button, select advanced reboot and let's go to recovery. Let's wait for the phone to boot into TWRP and then we will begin the flashing. All right, so as you can see, TWRP Dragon, Red Dragon, because it's a Red Dragon, booted up. So let's begin with the flashing process. So let's go to Wipe, Advanced Wipe, Dalvik, Cache, System, Vendor, Data, and Internal Storage. Swipe to Wipe. Okay, then go to Install, Up a Level, External SD, and let's look for Nitrogen OS, swipe to install. Now the ROM flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes and after this we will flash Google Apps. So please be patient while the ROM has been flashed. All right, now as you can look at the screen, the ROM has been flashed. So let's go home, install and locate where your Google Apps are. Select that file and swipe to confirm flash. Now again, this will take anywhere between two to four minutes because all the Google apps need to be flashed. So wait for the flash to complete. We will have a look at the boot animation if it is anything different. And then we will have a look at the features of Nitrogen OS and any major bugs that might stop you from using this ROM as your daily driver. And if there are no major bugs that I find, well, this ROM might make it to my final review list. All right, so as you can look at the screen, the ROM has been flashed, Google apps have been flashed. So let's reboot system, do not install and wait for the boot to complete and the first boot will take between five to 10 minutes. So if it takes more than five minutes, please do not panic because this is the first boot. The phone has to set up a lot of things. So please be patient while that happens. And uh, yeah, the Nitrogen OS boot animation. Let's see how that one is. Okay, that's a very, very simplistic boot animation for Nitrogen OS. Nothing fancy. I would rate around five out of 10 because it's not that creative and pretty black and white, but on the at the same time, you know, if you are someone who likes minimalistic things, it should be pretty good and work for you. Nonetheless, we'll wait for the ROM to boot up and then we will have a look at the features and the bugs. All right. So as you can look at the screen right now, we are on the home screen of Nitrogen OS and uh, yeah, so we have Gcam that is pre-installed. So that is a good thing. Let's see if it actually works. Allow. Okay. So Gcam is working. Uh, we'll do a l full review of Gcam later. First things first, let's check if voice over LT is working. Okay, so that's a good thing. So voice over LT is working, so you can make calls and stuff. So the basic functionality is there. Now that's a good start for any ROM. So we can finish the setup later, tomorrow maybe, yeah. So this looks brilliant as always with all the Android Pie ROMs. And let's go to settings here. Let's exit this. So what do we have here? We have something called as personalization. 
So this is again something that allows you to customize and personalize this ROM. So you have status bar customization. You can, you know, ADB notification, network traffic and stuff. Then you have quick settings. Uh, you have buttons that you can customize, not much there. Gestures, AOSP gestures. Okay, that's good. Apart from that, we have lock screen. You can customize the power menu and other things. So the customization is there, digital well-being is there. Of course, this is a ROM based on Android 9 Pi. So all the Pi features will be there. So from the first look, yes, I think I can use it as my daily driver. Of course, uh, there might not be portrait mode that will be working in this because this is an Android 9 based ROM and Gcam for now for this particular device doesn't have HDR plus working. So we will test that later. But for now, if you go to system, okay, 5th September security patch. So yeah, now in a nutshell, Nitrogen OS looks like a very, very good ROM, a very, very promising ROM, very, very few apps out there. So yes, I will put this on my list to go ahead and review these particular ROMs. I will go ahead and, you know, install my apps and do the battery backup thing and stuff like that. But guys, this was the first install and preview and first look at Nitrogen OS for the Zenfone Pro M1. And I think you can also safely give it a try as your daily driver. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.